Okay, so we are back in the game. We are still at the after school center, except a lot has actually changed since the last time we were here. So it is currently 10 p.m., which is not really a good time to have a birthday party, but we'll make it work. And Katie actually has a few friends. So this took me quite a while to do. Um, she's quite good friends with her sister. She's good friends with James. Holton Puckett, who is the little lad that's over here, um, and Alexander Goth, Carly Cardwell, Kewen Cardwell, Gianni Young, Dominic Champion, just all of them. She she is definitely the popular kid, you know, She's she's got them friends, and I wanted to do her aspiration as well, but that just wasn't going to work. I made the friends before she had this point so i'm not gonna make like three more friends that's gonna take too long so instead we are just gonna head home and i was going to have a birthday party but it's like 10 at night so i don't know what we're going to do but we'll figure that out okay so we are back home everybody's kind of sleeping i'm feeling like we're gonna have the birthday a little bit later today um i do want to age them up because this is where the real story begins and if you look over here you'll actually see that the parents are sleeping apart and the main reason for that also Susanna's glitched um it says she's at work but she's sleeping in the bed so that's just another glitch to add to the game um they are actually sleeping in different beds because if you have it over them they aren't very happy with each other so he got sent to the spare room which I think is quite funny and that is the main reason why we didn't want Nesquik to sleep in there so yep this is his room now this is her room she just kind of claimed the whole thing she's like yep I gave birth in this room. I claimed it as my own. This is my house now. So, yeah. This is going to be pretty interesting. There's going to be a lot of changes happening, which is going to be a lot of fun. Let me just fast forward because this is taking too long. Okay, so, I want to throw a party today, but I don't know if the kids being at school will kind of affect anything. So, I don't know how this will work. Oh, yeah. The powers are so shut off. <laughs> I forgot the power got shut off. I was just like, you know what? I don't have time to pay these bills. I'm not going to pay the bills, but I think I need to pay the bills. Otherwise, I don't know how else to age them up. Other than going into like the cheap mode in Creator Sim. Pay the bills! Pay the bills. It's so annoying that she's glitched because you can't click on her to follow her around. I don't know how to fix this glitch. Leave. Yes, miss work because you're not at work. Reset. Nothing is happening. And she has work in two days. So she's going to stay like this for a while. This is so annoying. I can't find her. I know she's sitting on expensive furniture. But I don't know where that is. Oh, there she is. Dining room. Well, I probably should have guessed that. Secretly, Katie passed out the answers to the multiple choice test. Charging just a few millions per cheat sheet. Of course, these answers were totally fabricated and how to meet the curve on the exam. Huh. Even as a kid, I'm earning money. I'm fantastic. What did you do with the cake? If you eat the cake, you will die. Susanna? Susanna. Susanna. Where's the cake? Honey, where's the cake? Can you not open a fridge? Open the goddamn fridge. Susanna! Open the fridge! What? Do you have to go to work? Go to bloody work. I don't want you here. Oh my gosh. That is what nightmares are made out of. They have blended together. That's really weird. Where are you going? Okay, fantastic. Let's throw a birthday party! Can kids plan social events? No. Huh. Plan a social event. What? Why? I want to plan my own birthday party because Mumsy over here doesn't know any of my friends. Okay, fudge. Plan a social event. Susanna! Stop being bugged out. Cool. Okay. Nope. Don't. Stop asking her for advice. She doesn't exist. You're seeing things. Jeepers, this is so frustrating. Okay, now yay, birthday party, blow out your candles. <laughs> yay, this is the best birthday party ever. Don't talk to strangers, Nesquik. Jeepers, have I not taught you anything? 
Well, I haven't. It's only been like half an episode. Okay, go quickly. Run. Run. Yay! I aged up. Okay, great. Fantastic. Now, I can choose a goal in life, which will be popularity. I like being popular. Want to be the leader of the best club? No, I feel like I'm already that. Uh, friends want to make and keep as many friends as they can. Want to throw amazing parties. Mm, it's going to be annoying for someone to tell jokes and become a famous comedian. Well, let's just be a friend of the world because I am obviously super social. And do we want to choose an emotional trait? We might leave the emotional trait out because it will come in handy later. And, ooh, look at me. I didn't know that button was a thing. Oh, yes, I did. Hello. You kind of look like me, but not really. Let's get a zoom in on the face. Yeah, not too bad. That's pretty much my expression on the daily. Like, <laughs> mom is bugged out again. Let's help. Nice quick. Blow out the candles. So you can. Gammon. Come on, Katie, you're my only hope. Really? You're not gonna you're not gonna do it. You you seriously just not gonna do it right now? Yay, thank you. I mean she's your sister, be nice to her. Okay, blow out the candles. Come on, S. Come on, Quickie. I don't know what to call it. Yay! It's my sister's birthday. I can't wait to see what she Okay. Judging by her picture down here. Quite interesting. I think she has a cool fashion choice at the moment. Um, let's make her a crazy vegetarian. Does that sound like it's a thing? A crazy, well, not crazy, what is it? Erratic. An erratic, unflirty? She can be a single Pringle for life. These sons get tense around flirty sons and seldom get flirty themselves. It's difficult for them to be romantic in public. Let's be unflirty because you don't need no partner in life, you know? You don't... Not everybody has those God-given skills. Let's make her want to find her soulmate because she's unflirty. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm not that rude. Maybe she's going to live in the wilderness. Maybe she likes the outdoors and she doesn't like it being around people. Her true, happy safe home is like in nature because people just don't understand her yet she loves selfies so relatable gosh okay so i'm gonna oh i think they've been removed from their clubs that's really awkward so i'm gonna do my usual thing give them a little makeover and then we can continue with the storyline okay so while i was in creator somewhere i actually had a power outage so i couldn't actually do the whole makeover which is why those shoes still exist um literally the power went off while i was in creator some so i had to just save and exit before i lost everything so yeah it's not a full makeover but at least it's something different um it's just a simple shirt and jeans because that's literally the first thing i could find and we didn't even get to nesquik I also added a bit more weight to my sim just because, because she was quite thin when I was in creator sim so I just kind of like added in some more weight, made her thighs a little bit thicker, um, increased some of the curves as you might be able to tell and I'm very happy about it apparently so that's pretty good. Is there a random child in my house? Oh there's a random child. The party also stopped out of nowhere so that's very interesting and somehow he went to work i don't remember if he went to work before but we are actually going to get him to come home early because there's going to be some drama happening yes 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 is he going to be bugged out too because i'm going to be very upset so we are going to come over here we are going to yell at wifey go ahead so this is basically where the story begins. We saw the upbringing of our character where she had quite a cool childhood, um, happy family, very artsy family. Nope, come back. And what she's going to do is that she's going to get really upset. She is going to criticize Woohoo Techniques because it's his fault that we had a sister. <laughs> 
And then we are going to swear at him or shout forbidden words. And then we are going to cancel everything and rather just have a civilized conversation with him because this is Sims and nothing goes the way you want it to go. We are going to do the ultimate mean action and we are going to divorce right in front of our beautiful daughters. So yeah. This is the end of the road. You were once happy and now you're not. Yep, it's over. Sorry, bud. Yep, quite embarrassing. <laughs> oh, Katie. She's like, oh my gosh, finally. Hi, guys. This is my cake. Bye, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to take a photo now. That was funny. Okay. So, somehow they got parenting from divorcing each other. That's a very interesting thing and they hate each other quite badly that's it's pretty sad um how's the kids reacting to it kids are fine with it they knew it was coming um see what's happening see what's happening yeah no let's not do that so so it was decided during the court that each parent would keep a child so <laughs> next quick this is the end we probably won't see you for a while. You can have a lovely conversation with yourself. And mom and I are going to move out. So good luck, guys. Um, we are moving to the city because mom can't stand dad. Oh, it was nice having you around. You're literally my other half. Goodbye. Now, how do we move out? I have a plan. And this plan will work because it's part of the storyline. Okay, so we have just moved into the new lot. It is Katie over here, as well as her glitched out mother, who still says that she's at work. And this time I'm trying something a little bit more different. This is another build that I did quite a while ago. I'll have it linked down in the description if you want to see the speed build. But it's a pretty big lot. And it's also on the penthouse lot that's in San Myshuno. So it's a pretty big lot. But the main twist is that two families actually live here. So the one side isn't supposed to have access to the other side, which is something that I kind of liked the idea of. I kind of imagine that maybe a rich family would kind of like build this whole thing and they had extra space. So they decided to kind of rent it out. So one side is a bit more fancier than the other. Over here is like the elevator and it's split off into the two lots. And here is kind of like where the rich family will be living. Um, there's like a pool, the living area activity room it's the parents room a bunch of bathrooms very nice kitchen and then you can go up to the daughter's room daughter's ensuite the little landing area and you also have like a lot of balcony area so this all belongs to like the rich family and then where katie and susanna is going to be staying will be this bedroom for susanna bathroom bedroom for katie and kitchen it's much smaller there's also an upstairs but there's no reason to have this room so i might refinish it as something else at a later stage but for now that's what we're working with the other family is michael brighton and his wife carrie brighton and carrie is actually at one of the businesses that they own and they have their daughter danny brighton over here so that's going to be a lot of fun to play with i'm just needing the bathroom quite urgently so i think we probably need to take care of the needs the needs and they're not that tired as seeing as it's almost midnight so that's pretty cool i'm thinking maybe she needs to go to work to be able to stop being bugged out because this is getting really ridiculous at the moment and they always watch the romance channel i don't know why yeah I'll go ahead cry carrie's home at the moment i'll probably be working a little bit more on the town itself a little bit later but I do have like a few friends that she can try and meet and hang out with and stuff like that and I'm also going to why can't she sleep there we go and I'm also going to like try and age up her old friends so that she can still keep in contact with them um, and I still need to give her a makeover because the power went out when I tried making her first outfit so I literally could only handle her first outfit and then everything went wrong so she's currently sleeping in makeup which is different to real life me in real life i don't even wear makeup fun fact but yeah introduce self to 10 sims well i can probably introduce 
us to the neighbors. Oh, I'm pretty sure we already know each other. Yeah, we already know each other. Danny's just being a normal teen, drinking coffee instead of going to sleep. Right on ya. Okay, so for some reason, the parents aren't actually married. Which is something I didn't realize happened. Um, I should probably try and fix that. Okay, let's do a little matchmaking while Katie's off sleeping. Come here, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, you need the bathroom, that's fine. You gotta woo her. Gotta get to know her. You like your ducks. Complain about all the many problems you have. Oh, rich life, it's so difficult. Let's have a bit of a gossip. We like gossip, don't we? Yes, we do. Um, can we stop flirting? Have a little flirty flirt? Yes, I'm hilarious. Give me the comedy skill. Um, let's do some pickups. So, um, do you want to get married? Because I really want to go to sleep and we don't have enough beds. Oops, they didn't like something. Abort, abort. Nothing is going right. Okay, this isn't working. Don't make me reset you. Carrie! Gosh darn it, Carrie. Good thing we have like eight bathrooms on this lot. <laughs> and let's get some rewards. Let's get a flirty potion because I think you're going to need some help here, buddy. Drink. Come on. Come on. Yay, he's very flirty. Tell a dirty joke. Do it. Do it. I don't know where she went, but you'll need to fall in love with her. I think the relationship went down. This is very sad. <laughs> I'm quite tired at the moment, so this is not on my agenda. <laughs> Casual. I really like you. I want us to be able to sleep in the same bed together. I'm awake, so that's a thing. Let's have a bit of a first kiss. Hey, wifey. Don't stop drinking the coffee. You don't need the coffee. Yay, they're having their first kiss after their daughter was already born. Their daughter's a teenager. Let me just point this out that you guys should really have had your first kiss because that could have been a bit awkward. Embrace you some more. You guys are in love. Let me just tell you what. You guys, whew, whew, you guys were meant to be. Okay, come on. You don't have time to freeze, buddy. You need her to be your wife like 18 years ago. Oh no, the potion's wearing off. How will I be able to woo her without my potion? Yeah. Try for a baby. Let's not, because that's going to be irritating to take care of. No. You don't need to eat. They are more important things. Have first... Oh, you guys already had your first kiss. Is she as a romantic? What? Oh, look at that. She's romantic too. I know her daughter's as a romantic. That's probably where she got it from. Um. Oh, this is... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. Fantastic. Now let's seal the deal because that's the fast way <laughs> to do things. Fantabulous. Why is she up here now? Ah! What? I can teleport. Hey, Danny. You look happy. Great. Good to see you. <laughs> you want to know what your parents are doing? You really don't want to know what your parents are doing. There we go. Let's... Oh my gosh. Dude, you were so bad at this. You almost had her. She's literally right there. You almost got everything you ever dreamed of. And then you just pause out at the foot of the bed. That's not attractive. Seeing as your soulmates will have to do. Come on. Come on. It's not that hard. <laughs> neighborhood i'm trying to make relationships happen this is so stressful okay cool they're gonna have fun we're not gonna watch them because that's odd break out the candles make it romantic carrie and michael woohooing for the first time trust me when i say it was not the first time seeing as they have a daughter darn it it's none of the people i wanted antisocial go away <laughs> Those aren't the friends I wanted. Maybe next time. Okay. Do I have a computer? No. I don't think I put a computer this side. It's pancakes. I don't know who made pancakes because they could have burnt the house down. And now she's flirty again. Why is everybody flirty these days? Hey, can somebody answer me that? Even she's flirty. 
<sighs> Goodness. I'm so tempted to play with Danny as well. What is she doing? She's in the shower. Crying in the shower. Okay. Great. That's my cue to leave. So that's where I'm going to end this video here. If you liked it, please remember to hit that like button. Comment down below for which videos you'd like to see me do next. I'll have my social medias linked down below as well as my origin ID if you want to have that checked out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.